Hello, the, hello, hello guys. Uh, here we are again on site, working alone. Uh, well, the other guys were out drinking and partying last night. I'm the family guy, of course, has to come and work. You know, yeah, every day I gotta work, do something. It's either watching the kids or working here, or YouTube and uh, my website and all this stuff. There's always work, work, work. I don't think I've played a, I haven't played a video game since I started YouTube. Um, I've, I haven't watched any shows or anything like that. So like I, you know, since I started YouTube. So it's definitely been taking up a lot of my time. Uh, so yeah, look at this guys. We're gonna finish the whole middle today. You guys have been with me since the beginning, since we started down on the, the far uh, w uh, west side there. We're down on the east end now. And uh, that's incredible. So we've got this is uh, in total, we have each base 30 feet, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 150, 180, 210, 240 feet. So we're going to be completing that today. So that's 240 feet that split this building. We've built two 50 foot walls, so that's uh, 100 feet. So 340 feet is complete. We have another 50 feet to do here where you see the grade beam. Um, and then there might be a couple more as well. So, whew, you guys have been with me since the beginning of this job. I've done most of it by myself. Uh, I've had uh, minimal help. Uh, I had uh, two guys uh, helping me at the beginning. They've not, they're not here. Um, I had Jamie helping me yesterday, but uh, most of this has been done by myself. So this is what I this is what I mean by having uh you know like look at that could you imagine building all that by yourself and then looking back and seeing what you've built that's why I love construction right this is why I do it it's huge it's freaking huge it's it's taped it's insulated everything is everything on the inside is taped drywalled uh, all the walls are insulated uh, it's just this side bottom 12s taped uh, I did that so the electricians can run their conduit. And then all I got is the tops, right? Like I, it's almost complete <laughs> to this point. It is complete. It is complete to this point. Oh, I have a little bit of extra work to do in here. Uh, this electrical room. Uh, but yeah, like all this is taped. This is complete. This room is, ta is, is complete, right? So this is a fire taping. Uh, so I've done a great job for just fire taping. All they have to do is uh, sand it, a light sand and coat it if they want to paint it. Um, but yeah, so this is our, oh my God. <laughs> Never do that with drywall. So I didn't do that, somebody else did it. <clears throat> you need to hook your, hook your door frame. So the drywall needs to least land on, a, on that first 16 there. <laughs> Don't do that ever. And, then, and plus it's a shitty butt joint. So I'll be taking that off. And that's what I mean, like, <sighs> You got to do it yourself because other, everyone else just screws it up. So yeah, there's not going to be anything in here. Just this is finished. I don't think they're going to insulate this or anything. We'll finish the ends when they take the, uh, the cladding off. We'll get in there. So oh, my goodness gracious. But yeah, so <coughs> yeah, we've been doing a lot of work. Well, I have been anyways. So. All right, we're gonna finish this big fucking wall today. By ourselves. <laughs> First start with shitty fucking delivery guys. We've gone through now this is that's our what at least our third delivery company we're going with our uh, fourth since we started this job <laughs> fucking deliveries these companies have gone right to shit all right so i need 12 studs to finish this wall Remember to batch process everything, guys. <clears throat> I mean, it's like do one task at a time. Like, like break your task into steps. <clears throat> so that it's fluid. Um, I don't want to bury that cord. I 
don't think I'll, no hammer drill today, so. Remember too, when you're cutting studs, you gotta be aware of like, ah, fuck off. You wanna be aware, of, when you're cutting studs, you wanna be aware of the top and bottom of the stud because you always wanna measure bottom up. We're lucky with these studs. Ah, the cutouts are both, are the same on both top and bottom. So ah, what I mean by that is it should be two foot to center on these ones so the, these with the double whatever but <laughs> if they're square you want two foot to the bottom but on these ones it's two foot to center so we got the same top and bottom <sighs> halfway there halfway there <sighs> you know i love construction because it's so challenging right like not only is it, it's, it's a good physical job. It's hard work, don't get me wrong, but it's rewarding hard work. I mean, you're, you're, you're always gonna be in shape. You're always gonna have muscles. You're always gonna be in good shape. You know, if you're a hard worker, you will. It's, uh, you're always doing something different. It's quite exciting, like there's always stuff to do. Like, look at all this equipment we get to drive. Right? Like, I get to drive anything in here I want. I, I can drive any of this, any of these machines. Uh, right? Like, who wouldn't want to do that? There's tons of tools to play with. We're always building cool stuff. You know? So, the reason why construction is dead for me, not dead, but the reason why I, I started YouTube and I, and I just, I've had enough with, there's a lot of shady guys still, still in the industry right like like i was saying when i was working for the mod company making panels the mod panel company in uh edmonton here they didn't fucking pay me a whole week i worked and i didn't get paid for it you know and all every paycheck leading up to that was always late and uh, they're they're all like short and late so the only reason why i stayed is because i had a friend there who said he was going to take care of it but he didn't so I got fucking screwed in the end. And I had enough because you just, you know, there's a lot of good things about construction. And it's these few rare assholes that fucking ruin it for everybody else. So I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna educate you guys so that you know, you know what to look for. And we, you won't work for these shady companies that do these, these things, you know? And, and there's so many, it's really, really hard to find good quality people who are trained to teach other people. Right? I've, I've trained so many workers uh, that, you know, it's, I should be putting all these on, on a video so that it, it's accessible to everybody. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Right? So that they're, it, this, these lessons are accessible to everybody. And we can standardize, you know, like, don't get me wrong, good companies like PCL and Leadcore and Ellis Don, you know, they've perfected construction. You know, these guys are models for the way it should, like, way it should be. It's all these little tiny new people, new guys who try to, you know, fucking, you know, they, 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 they scamp out on the rules, right? And they try to, and they rip guys off here and there just to save some money. Well, that's un not acceptable, right? So we need to take the model that these big companies have set for us, combined with uh, with legislation and, the, and safety in the safety authorities, and uh, put it together so that everybody's doing it, right? How is it fair that these shady little companies 
like the one that I was working for win these bids because they underbid other people and the reason why they can underbid other people is because they don't have the same safety uh, values they don't have the same values in general and then they're ripping people off here and there you know what I mean fuck that's not fair how's that fair that these companies can do this and get away with that well no no more no more why because you guys know you guys are educated now you know what to look for and if you see these guys doing this stuff well guess what don't work for them there's plenty of companies to work for you don't need to work for those guys so there you go uh, all right so you see what i mean by batch processing or whatever right you got to make sure that you're doing all of one step together so the first step was we got all the set over here we need the second step is to make our marks we're going to measure it these studs that we know we know that we're going to take off 13 and a half inches so uh, i because i already measured up okay grab my tape oh, i already lasered that up that's beautiful all right so i don't have to measure bottom up because i know how much to take off all right so we're just going to do it all at once okay 13 and a half 13 half, 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 13 I'm not putting my marker, my tape back in my pouch. I'm, I'm just marking every one. See how quick that was, right? So I carried my 12 studs over here. Now my 12 studs are marked. What I'm gonna do now is square it. If I had all my tools in my pouch, that'd be even better. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is square every one. I square it because they're six inch studs and, I, and uh, the chop saw blade, I wanna make sure that I'm cutting these square. All right, this is important because I have deflection. I've, I've accounted for uh, deflection in in my wall so I, I need to make sure that everything is, is is kosher that way you know being a quality worker is easy you know working hard and just doing the steps properly it's not that hard you just have to do it every time there's so many guys that just you know are, are there's gonna be a lot of guys you just don't don't want to and they're gonna and they're lazy and they they'll never they're not gonna move up those guys don't move up those guys don't run their own companies or their own YouTube channel one day. All right, so if you guys wanna be leaders, industry leaders, you do it the right way, the quality way. All right, now, oh, I need my face shield. Everything's marked, so then we're gonna, now we're gonna cut everything. It's just, it's a process, right? Shit, I don't know, I can't believe I don't have my, my face shield? What? What's that all about? Ugh. And speaking of face shield, okay, um, shite, 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 where's me glasses? Oh. Well, there's a pair there. <sighs> Always when you're cutting on a chop saw, you're using double eye protection. Uh, I Glasses and face shield, okay? <sighs> All right. Plug this bitch in.
Okay, and the cut side always goes up. Always goes up. put these two on and then I'm gonna move over <sighs> yeah I should be able to get the rest with just one more pouch right now so just to lighten the load I'm taking it off Set up down there. 